We live in the entertainment capital of the world, but for the past 50 years, Las Vegas has also had a rock music scene by and for locals. That heritage is being celebrated this weekend at the Las Vegas Rock Reunion and Hall of Fame induction and concert. There have been a lot of locals' music joints over the years, the Moby Grape, Captain America's, the Troubadour. Many rockers would say that the place that started it all opened in 1963 at Paradise and Harmon, the Teen Beat Club. It was the first and only nightclub that was built from the ground up for teenagers only. We never had any intention of getting a liquor license. Steve Miller and his partner Keith Austin were freshly graduated from Las Vegas High School. They liked music and they saw a business opportunity. We would have a cover charge of two dollars and that would cover everything and basically we made a lot of money. We were able to pay the building off uh, construction wise for in the first year. In fact, it was so successful, they branched off into a TV show every Saturday night from 5 to 6. It's Teen Beat Las Vegas, hosted by Steve Miller and Keith Austin. Keith was the straight man, I was the comedian, and uh, it turned out to be very funny because the show was produced by Milton Burl's older brother, Phil, and he taught us a lot of routines. There was plenty of music and interviews with big name guests who were passing through. The format was familiar. It was a takeoff of American Bandstand, but it was there was a lot of shtick. There was a lot of comedy in there. With all that going on, how about a house band? Miller and Austin assembled a group of young rockers and called them, of course, the Teen Beats, opening for major acts at the convention center and rocking out at the Teen Beat Club, developing what was then the Las Vegas sound. Believe it or not, it was kind of a surfing beat, even though they considered themselves sand surfers. But uh, there was a lot of a surfing, a surfing influence from, like, the Beach Boys. The Teen Beat Club closed its doors in 1968. Miller, Austin, and the band members went on to other careers. But the Teen Beats are going to reassemble, and they're going to play for the first time in 45 years, Sunday at the Henderson Pavilion. Sure's local... Rock uh, accent from the 60s and the 70s. Going to be some good music this Sunday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And we've got a link on mynews3.com. Steve Miller has been active in the community ever since, perhaps most notably as a city councilman in the late 80s. Keith Austin is a businessman in Santa Barbara. And a thriving rock scene for locals continues in clubs around the valley.